Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and I am super excited to discuss about the month function in today's video. So this month function comes under date and time function and this month function returns the month which is a number from 1 to 12 for a given specific date or you can use this month function on a column to provide you or return you the date value which is between 1 to 12 as your output. So let's go and see how we can use this month function in our SQL query. So I have a table here and the table name is transaction date on which we have record of those students who have submitted their fees. So what we need to do is that if we want to find out on which month the student has paid their fees then we can use this month function. In order to do that you just simply have to write month and then and then the column name. So for us the column name is transaction date. So I'll put transaction date and I'll give an alias as month and now if I run this query I should ideally get a separate column called as month. Okay so month is a reserved keyword so let's put month of fees okay so now when when I will run this query we should have a separate column named as a month of fees in which we will have the month in which the student has submitted their fees so let's go and run this query okay as I said you can see here this month of fees column is created and it has the month in which the fees has been submitted by the students so this is how basically you can use the month function in SQL. If you want to learn more about SQL, you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you're interested in Excel, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.